cactus. The Spanish word for cactus. This one is. This one's pretty old, really big. How cool. Good morning and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Right now I'm still in Vicuña and today is going to be an absolutely epic day because we're going for a hike. And not just any hike, this is a, this is a special hike. So we're going to go on a hike. I just enjoyed this beautiful sunrise and um, it was the first time my drone actually almost went down because of a bird. The bird came out of the tree, tried to grab it. And luckily uh, the drone is pretty strong. I hope I didn't uh, hurt the bird at all. But anyways, off to the adventure and um, with my drone. Ow. Mm. Welcome to the trail. I love going for hikes, especially when you get to learn a bunch of new things about where you are and what you're doing. Also, super interesting because we passed some goats on the way here and they were telling me that usually those people that are transporting those goats, which they're going all the way to Argentina. I'm calling this bluff. There's no way you can walk all the way to Argentina from here. But anyways, they live in places like, like that with all of those goats. And there are different families in these hills and these mountains right around here in Vicuña that just live off of that, live off the, the land, bringing these goats from one place to the other, taking care of them. And I think that's just so cool. Something that I could never do, but totally respectable. Those people walk like crazy. I'm already tired after walking maybe 10 minutes, but uh, you know, I guess they walk a little bit longer than that. Oh, I hope I don't die today. What's really cool about coming here to Vicuña is that in only 45 minutes, on a plane ride 45 minutes away, you come to a place that's totally distinct, totally different, and it only costs like 5,000 pesos if you find the right ticket. And it's just so different, so beautiful. This is such a cool trek. So, 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 so cool. And I'm learning so much from Maria Jose. I'm gonna introduce her in just, uh, just a second, but just, man, it's so beautiful. Oh. So we have Maria Jose here, and she doesn't speak any English, entonces voy a hablar en, en español. Uh, pero ella es la experta de esta región de Vicuña y ella sabe mucho sobre las rutas de trekking aquí en, en Vicuña. Entonces ella puede uh, explicar dónde estamos y qué hace. Hola chicos, estamos en la cuenca del río Elqui, un hermoso valle en la cuarta región de Coquimbo. Estamos en la provincia del Valle del Elqui. Nos caracterizamos por ser cielo, ser cerro, agua, viento. Tenemos un montón de actividades para ustedes que vengan a conocer, que vengan a 
a, a vivir una hermosa experiencia que le tenemos preparada para usted que incluye sabores locales, historia, qué hacíamos antes y qué hacemos ahora. Así que todos súper bienvenidos. Y es un tour espectacular, con lugares espectaculares y tienes que venir, sí o sí. Bienvenido, te esperamos al Valle del Río Elqui. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is the perfect time to go and travel in Chile. And that to me is March, April, and even into May. They're the perfect times. And then you get into spring, like September is a blast here in Chile. But coming to Vicuña in these months is so, so beautiful because you have the fall leaves and you've got these trekking routes that aren't just blazing hot. It's a perfect temperature to come here, do a little trek, be outside, and learn something about the area of Vicuña. And oh, this water is just so, so beautiful. The color of it is incredible. Woo! Getting a little tired, but uh, it's so fun. One thing that we've noticed along this trek here, and any trek, almost any trek that I do here in Chile, is that there's just this plastic that is left. And all of our bags now are filled with this plastic. So just a reminder, if you're coming for a hike and you come to this beautiful natural place, make sure that you bring something that's not natural out with you. Because uh, we just don't have much more space left. <sighs> There, Mr. Pig. Oh, I am, I am so tired and sore. Oh, it was about 14 kilometers. It, uh, it felt like 14 kilometers. It was, um, it was a great trek. I learned so much, and now I'm so tired. Not like that tired, like. You're just like exhausted and you're sad about everything. It's like a good tired. I don't know how to describe it very well, but after you're outside and doing a track and having fun, it's just like, I just feel alive again, but sore and tired. So I'm gonna rest up here and um, we'll be back for another adventure. Make sure to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are right below. Also, the link for Maria Jose and her business is right below as well if you wanna do the same track or she does different treks as well, longer treks. But I had such a good time and I'm so thankful to be here and thankful for everybody involved in this and I just, I couldn't be more grateful. But we'll see you guys next time for another adventure and I just, ah, oh, I'm just so blessed. We'll see you guys next time, but for now, ciao Pascal.